we found that people are capable of learning the language who've come from all sorts of backgrounds, people with backgrounds in mathematics or engineering, people with backgrounds in programming of all sorts of different languages. Knowing Ada to start with is certainly not a prerequisite to learn Spark. Um, the first thing about Spark, which uh, is a good thing from an educational point of view, is that the language is so simple and small. If you want to make a language easy to learn, I suppose making it small seems like a, a reasonable idea. So Spark is an order of magnitude smaller than full-blown Ada or full-blown C++ or any of these other contemporary languages, for example, which does make it relatively easy to learn. Perhaps a little bit more challenging is the fact that Spark is a bit different from other languages on the market. Um, for example, you know, the, the, the way the language works and the way we think about design in Spark, the way we think about verifying Spark programs, is perhaps a bit different from what people are used to. So that's a little bit of a hurdle that people have to get over. But usually when they get it, you know, they, they, they really get it and it, it sinks in and the, the, the value really, really uh, appeals to people.